What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you all the new camera features in iOS 8. So the first feature I want to talk to you guys about is called Time Lapse. Now if you guys haven't seen my Time Lapse video, I did a complete video dedicated to Time Lapse in iOS 8 where you see sunsets, you see candles melting, you see cigarettes burning, all kinds of stuff. I definitely recommend checking that out. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to click on. But it's real simple to get to that feature. All you need to do is open up your camera, and then you're probably going to start down here in photo. All you need to do is swipe your finger to the right until you get that time lapse option right there. Hit that button, and then you're recording in time lapse. Now, just to give you a quick view of what a time lapse video looks like, I'm sure all of you have seen one, but just a real quick uh, video of showing you what the iPhone can do, you can see right there. So let's go ahead and jump out of that. And the next feature I want to show you guys is the separate focus and exposure control. So let's go ahead and swipe over here to just video and you can see right here that we're going to focus in and then if we start to slide up that's going to change our exposure as you can see right there it's getting brighter but if we swipe down then it's going to darken the entire video. So that's really nice it's allowing you to obviously do those separately as you can see right there. Also, if we jump over here to the photos, you'll notice that we have a new little indicator icon right up there. If we tap on that, it's actually a timer. So you can set a timer three seconds or 10 seconds. And if you set that timer, you can see right after you hit the photo button or the shutter button, you'll get a little countdown right here. And then it's gonna take 10 photos. That way you have a better chance of getting the shot that you want. But again, you can also change that to 10 seconds if maybe you need to set up your phone, hit that button, then run, get into place. You know, maybe if you're taking a family photo or anything like that. But definitely something that people have been downloading applications to do for quite some time. So it's nice that they actually integrated it into the new iOS. Next up, we have some new photo editing features. So let's go ahead and jump back to our photos down here. And let's go to one of these photos to... We'll, we'll edit this one. So if we just tap the edit button right up here, you'll notice that we have a crop feature, we have filters, and then we have some other uh, adjustments that we can mess with right here. First, we're gonna tap on the crop. So you'll notice that my picture is actually pretty crooked, but I can change that just by tilting the picture like that. So that looks a little more straight. As you can see, the road is right there, so it's a little more level. So that's really nice. It automatically crops that for you as well. And then if we tap on this, this is obviously going to allow you to change all these different filters. And there's actually going to be third-party filters that you're going to be able to use uh, for this on iOS 8. So that's going to be a nice addition as well. Now, before we actually get into these adjustments, let me mention these two other buttons over here. First, we have just the rotate 90 degrees, as you can see right there. And then right here, we can actually change our aspect ratio. So you have the original, you have square, and then you have all these different aspect ratios that you can change and uh change up your photo as you can see right there but let's go ahead and go back to the original and then we'll tap on this right here so this is going to allow you to change the light the color even change the intensity of the black and white so if we tap on light you'll notice that we just get a bar a sliding bar that we can slide across and you'll notice that it actually changes quite a few different things it's not necessarily just brightness that it's changing and to get a more granular look you can tap on this right here and it's going to give you all of these options or all of these things that the light bar is actually changing so it's changing the exposure highlights shadows brightness contrast and black point now if we wanted to tap on one of these and change these individually well you can do that as well so if we wanted to change the exposure we just tap on exposure and then you can see you can actually change the exposure by itself so we go back here and you can see that nothing changed other than exposure and everything else stayed the same same thing with color if we tap on color we get a bar so let's go ahead and make that a little more intense and then you can see right here what all it's changing is changing the saturation contrast and cast again with the black and white if we wanted to change that up just slide it over just a little bit and it's going to turn black and white and then again if we open that up you have intensity neutrals tone and grain so definitely some much needed photo editing tools added to the photos app so once you're done and you made all your adjustments you can go ahead and tap done and it's going to save that photo. Now you can always go back into this and revert it back to the original photo. But let's get, tap cancel here and you'll also notice a heart right here. So if we tap on that, it's actually going to add the photo to our favorites photo. Well then you may ask, well where's my favorite photo gonna be saved? Well there's actually a favorites album. So if we go back here, you'll notice that if we go to our albums, 
we can tap on this and you'll see that we have our favorite photo right there. Now another feature that you have within the Photos app is the ability to hide photos. So let's go ahead and tap on our photos here and let's say that we were going to hide this one just because it's a blurry face. So we're going to hide that and you can see that it says this photo is going to be hidden from moments, collections, and years, but you can still see this photo within the album section. So we're going to hide the photo and you can see that it completely goes away. But if we go over to the albums and let's go back to our recently added, you can see that we still have that blurry photo. But most of the time people are going to be looking through the photos here and they're not necessarily going to get to check out your album. So you can hide photos from people right within your photos. Another cool feature is the ability to recover recently deleted photos. So let's say we were going to delete this photo right here. So let's go ahead and trash that. So we're going to delete it and then let's go back here and we're going to go to albums and let's scroll down to recently deleted. So if we tap on that, you can see that we actually have some photos that we've recently deleted. So you can see that there's a day right beneath the photo. It says 30 days, 30 days, and 29 days. So once you delete a photo, it's going to stay in recently deleted photos for 30 days. And then at the end of that 30 day period, it's going to delete the photo permanently. But you can go in there and you can actually delete it yourself. If you tap on this, you can tap delete and that's going to permanently delete or you can hit recover and that's going to recover the photo. So we go back here and let's go back to photos. And you can see right here is the actual photo that I deleted. And last but not least, we have a feature to search for photos within the Photos app. So you'll see this little magnifying glass right here. And this is going to allow you to search for photos either from your favorites, you can go to a certain time period, or even location if you have that set up, which I actually don't right here. But what you would do normally, I don't have a whole lot of photos on here, but if I just typed in July, then you can see that the July date uh, comes up right here so if we tap on that it's going to show all the photos and all the videos that I took within July and that's really all there is to it that's how search works so let me know what you guys think about all these new features to the photos and camera applications in iOS 8 in the comments below all right guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more iOS 8 coverage as well as iPhone 6 coverage make sure you subscribe all right guys until next time peace